teacher here. People usually forget that teachers are human beings. It isn't easy to keep a positive attitude all the time, but we try our best to give the students a nice class even though it is not recognized, not to mention underpaid. Teacher from Canada here. Not gonna lie, this year has been the hardest for me both professionally and personally. The stress of, you know, and a number of other factors have just piled on this year. Every day before I enter the high school, I scream and cry in my truck. Then I put on a show, smiles, pleasant attitude, etc. Why? Because every period I have 20 plus students with a mix of backgrounds, worse or better than my situation. They deserve a positive attitude from someone. I just wish people appreciate me and our work as teachers more. We to hurt. Teacher here with depression and anxiety disorder. Some days it's okay, but other days when life is going south, I pat my face and massage it and tell myself, showtime, before going in and smiling and raising the tone of my voice to a happy one because I'm not the only one going through shh. And least I want to do is bring my students down. I want them to leave the group feeling better than when they came in. I know it's cringy, but it reminds me of some fictional characters that motivate me. Hey, today I will address uh, the issue of students. And the most important thing that I understand as a teacher is that we need to understand as teachers that we will have a lifelong impact on the lives of our students. Not all of them, but some. And one day we will occur to them to send us a message and just say, you know what, teach, there was a moment there that you really helped me. So I'm going to give you a few tips that I learned along the way on this video because my last video was very technical on the history of the English language. But this one I want to address more in the matters of classroom, um, classroom issues and how to deal with the classroom. So the first thing that I want to address is you cannot be motivated every single day, but you can not be a shitty teacher every single day. It is really important that when you enter a classroom or when you turn on the computer for an online class, you leave your troubles behind and focus on the matter. That's it. That is the first step of not being a shitty teacher. To be a motivational teacher is to be a prepared one. And to be prepared, you need to know what you're doing. To be a good teacher is to know the method that you're using it. And to know the method you're using it is to study it. Pick up some books, check out some videos online and learn about the methods. Okay, there is a bunch on my website, especially on the area of uh, books. The first two or three books I highly recommend it because they're easy and they're cheap. So just learn a little bit with them but it is really important for you to get to study the methods okay of course i will always suggest my method but i will also focus on which classes which grades are you teaching if you're teaching really young kids yes of course i'm gonna always suggest reading books to them and focus on the most frequent words but if you have to teach uh pre-lessons or already teenagers you will have to focus a little bit on grammar and describe and use the first language as well. So go to the website, uh, check out all the methods, see which one you like most and prepare yourself for cl to class. Okay, know the material. Another issue when you enter the classroom that you should leave outside, it is the politics. So the issues that you have with your principals, the issue you have with the union, the issues that you have with everyone else that is, that is not in the classroom. A lot of times the students will uh, ask questions in the text that you will be reading, we will address hard issues. It is important to let them speak and just to be a mediator. Another interesting topic 
as a teacher that happens uh, with students is to pick your favorite student. Uh, it is unnatural for me, and I knew this since the beginning, that I would not have a favorite student. I would. I knew from the beginning that I would have that student that will always have me laughing or that would just appreciate my class and will come to me and give me an apple or would ask questions that I would go, oh, that's very interesting. I like That's a good question. I like it. And uh, I asked my mom and my mom is, is a psychologist and uh, she, she said that it's unnatural not to have favorite ones. So the only thing that I did was to try not to show too much. And if I did, when I did, I made sort of a competition to see who could do better. So my favorite students were usually the ones that did best in my class. And it's really important to show that hard work pays off. So if they were doing good homeworks and they were doing the full amount of their homeworks, in my class they were reading the books, they were participating in class, I made sure that they would be recognized by their work. And not as nerds, but as someone who should be followed and be congratulated and that the others should be doing that and not be bullying he or she in the classroom or outside the classroom. But it is a very tenure line to to address someone in a good way that they don't become the teacher's pet, but then comes with the classroom, depends on the other students, depends how old your students were. So sometimes when I did that in ninth grade, I could see that some angry faces came up, but when I did in first grade it was just Oh, teacher, I want to be just a little bit more like her. I just want to be a little bit more like him. And I said, well, all you have to do is just do your homework. So I'll be addressing more issues when it comes to students later on. But what I want to take on this video is just that it is impossible not to have a favorite student. Uh, you can leave your troubles outside the classroom. And the last one, the last issue that I really want to address is prepare yourself have that method on your mind and follow through use it be a master on the method that you chose to use with your students i hope you guys are having a great time so am i so i see you in the next video okay take care bye